Good afternoon and welcome back to Coach Creek. I'm Byron. I'm Zenden. And today we are going to be continuing with the basic skill sets and today is the pull shot. The pull shot is a back foot shot played with a horizontal bat towards the leg side, looking to hit towards square leg, mid wicket region. A couple of key factors with the pull shot is we want to make sure that our head gets into the line of the ball. A lot of coaches will say that the back foot needs to go across, but we personally feel that the head in line makes more sense. Also with that, we want to make sure that the hands get nice and high up to our line, just like with the cut shot. And then we're going to explode with a nice big swing, making sure that there's a full extension of the arms through the ball to the leg side. The bigger the swing of the arms, the more power we're going to generate. One more thing, we don't want to roll our wrists through the ball because you feel that that loses power by stunning the ball into the ground. So if we get our hands high enough, we go from a high to low trajectory, hitting the ball downwards naturally. From my point, a quick demonstration on what Byron's just told you guys. So hands nice and high. From this position, it's an explosion through the shot. From a high to low position, you can see the bat face is already pointing downwards and finishing off the shot with arms extended. What you can also see there is that the head is in front of the back foot, so we are not falling away from the ball. We can see it more clearly from the side-on angle. One of the biggest challenges we have found for younger children learning to play the pool shot is it is a little bit intimidating with a hard ball coming towards it. So how we start the training is with tennis balls, whereas if it makes contact with the player, it is not going to cause any harm. This helps them build up some confidence in the shot. How we're going to work it is I'm going to go throw some underarm pops towards Zender. He's going to start in a set position ready for the pool and then explode through the ball. Thereafter, we are going to go from a stand-in base and moving across into position to play the pool shot. And now with the movement from our stance into the shot itself. A progression with the tennis balls, especially to the younger children, can be with some overarm throws so they get used to the ball bouncing up and towards it so as to get rid of the fear factor. What we're going to do now is we are transferring across to the harder balls to make sure we can feel the impact of the ball on the bat and the way the ball travels off the bat. We're going to show you guys the side on view of the pull shot now. There's a couple of key things to notice. Please watch carefully at the chest position through the execution of the shot. Also, pay special notice to the hand position and that the wrist don't turn during the shot, but just an extension of the arms itself. As with any shot, the initial learning curve is quite steep, so please do the draw many, many times, just so that it becomes natural and that the fear factor diminishes as we go forward. This concludes our video. Um, as a final note, the reason why we prefer having our head in line with the ball instead of moving back and across is the time it takes to actually move your foot back and across. At a high speed, you simply do not have the time. You know what you actually need to do? I'm putting this in the video so you can understand yeah? where I'm coming from. You need to go, as you hit the pool, you have to like put all of them, you have to phase them in, bah, 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 and then bah. 